What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we did something that I didn't think we'll ever do or make this mistake in my entire life. <laughs> so yes, as you guys see from the thumbnail of the video, um, we bought two 135s, it was absolutely by mistake, so basically what happened was uh, we went to the auction, actually we went to the auction, we viewed a 135, and then we went home and we bid it on it. Uh, once we actually won the bid, it was on approval. So once we won the bid, it, it, we had to like wait till they approved or declined our offer. And instead of approving and instead of declining, they sent us a counter offer of $900 more of what we were asking. So we won the auction for 61 and they wanted seven for it. And uh, we were like, mm, seven plus fees and everything, it'd be about 8,000 right there. And um, then plus, we don't know if the turbos are bad or anything else. We don't want to pay upwards of 10 to 11,000 just fixing you know a salvage title 135 even though it's a manual which is the best part uh, you know we didn't want to spend that much just with that risk so like you know what he counter offered us which means we're no longer liable to pay for the car because whatever we won the price for is what we are liable to paying but he doesn't want that he wants seven so we just went out and went ahead and get my girls 135 uh, that red interior one N55 manual off of Craigslist and then literally the same day that we got that one he ended up taking down his offer and reaccepting ours so, so we had to go pick this one up. Anywho, I'm just gonna get right into the video but I do want to let you guys know that we are giving away three Carly adapters in this video. Not one, not two, but three Carly adapters absolutely for free. Just stay tuned. I'll show you guys pretty much how to use it. We're gonna be diagnosing the new 135 with it and also coding in a few little things and also telling you guys how you can get all three adapters for absolutely for free so stay tuned guys and shout out to Carly for sponsoring this video on the block okay guys this is a 135 and 54th white interior manual we're bidding 7,000 max hopefully we can get this little dude <laughs> how do we get it for 61 <laughs> All right, guys, so now that we're finally here at Coke Park, we're gonna be picking up another one of these little dudes, but it's a diff it's slightly different, but at the same time, the same thing. It's kind of weird to explain. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the car. Um, it's gonna be about a 45 minute wait, and then we'll pay for it, and then we'll wait for our tow truck to arrive, and then we'll get the car home, and we'll talk all about the good stuff. This place without you. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to. All right, guys, just paid for the car, and it looks like our tow truck is here. This is our boy Enrique. The guy that actually purchased, the guy that towed our E92 M3, the legendary E92 M3, he's finally here towing cars again, so a huge shout out to him. Let's go ahead and just wait on the, our 135 now. Guys, we got here super early, so we didn't have to wait, and unfortunately, since it's Monday, uh, we got here at 10.15, it is 12 right now. It's been an hour and 45 minutes, all the way in the exact same spot, and there was no cars that came literally after 10.30, so if we would've came now, we wouldn't have waited any difference, honestly, which kinda sucks, but uh, it is what it is. Oh my God, guys. After two hours, finally, the clone is here. All right, gonna load her up. We're gonna pop this one right behind it. Double trouble, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ah uh, guys, this one's heavily modified. Oh my god. This was 
the first time I've ever purchased a car not from insurance. And I actually, you know, now I get why you don't buy cars from insurance because I do see the black smoke and obviously did not put the car from front end damage. I've literally checked the bumper. They have it in the chunk, which we're actually putting on right now. That is clearly not the reason why it got totaled out. They clearly have either some turbo issues or whatever and they just want to throw it in the auction because they can say it runs and drives like every other car and they'll probably get a decent amount of money for it like they did from me. But if you guys look at the market right now, the manuals are selling for about $20,000. The cheapest manual I found was selling for about $16,000 clean title. We got this one for 68 salvage, but literally we have to put no money into it other than uh, in terms of cosmetics. We just need to figure out the whole turbo situation. Might even upgrade it. We'll see the plans for the N54. And then the N55 one over there is selling for about 20,000 clean title and we got it for um, pretty much half of that. And I want you guys to challenge me on this. The fact that I have two manual 135s in front of me is super, super, super rare, especially considering the color combinations too. This one has a white interior, this one has a red interior. If you guys look online right now, all the manuals, there's only eight manuals selling in the United States on car juries. I went on car juries and I only see eight manuals for sale right now. It really shows you guys how rare these cars are and none of them have the white or the red interior. Actually, no, one of them has a red interior, but none of them have the white interior. So these are pretty, pretty rare interiors as well on top of the gearbox. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And on top of that, they both came with some pretty tasteful mods. Like this one has some wheels, that one has some wheels, and this one has a bunch of engine modifications. I do think also it might have an exhaust or countless downpipes. We'll have to see. I do want to take everything off of it in terms of mods and going with burger tuning because I know all that stuff. And I also want to double check everything because it did get a service engine light. Before getting too much into it, let's go ahead and take off the rear bumper. So not the rear bumper, I meant the front bumper. We do have the front bumper right there and I think it's perfectly fine. So let's just go ahead and take this bad boy out. So looking at the bumper guys, this is the side of the impact. I mean, it does have a screw hole right here. Um, this paint is completely chipping. Oh, I mean, I guess you might as well peel all this off, right? But yeah, this bumper is pretty much peeling there, but from every from everything else, it honestly looks pretty good. I mean, even the grills look pretty good. I actually like these grills a lot. Might actually swap that into my wifey's car. <laughs> Who knows? These two little head, headlight washers also I found in the trunk. Where are they? Where are they? They're right over here in pretty good shape. We do have both of them. This side is missing the air duct, but it's right here. And that side does have the air duct. So I literally think like, I mean, the tabs are good on this side too. I literally think we can just go ahead and throw this on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and throw that on. And hopefully, hopefully, we're I have two complete 135 eyes and I want to give this one a wash because that is super dirty. Alrighty guys, now that the car has the front bumper on, it's sitting, everywhere it's sitting. Actually, it fits in perfectly on this side. Everything's going in pretty good. This is actually going on, this is going on. This is pretty bad, I mean, it is what it is. And this tab is not staying in at all. I mean, this tab didn't even have a screw in it. I don't even know how you put a screw in over here, honestly. The angle, it's so weird because the headlight bracket's in the way. And then over here, obviously, this is where it broke off. So uh, the only thing that's not stable is this, but I did screw in all the wheel guards, uh, screws into the bumper. So the bumper's not going anywhere. I screwed in the bottom one. We do have this thing on it holding it from the front. So as the bumper, it's not going anywhere. We do have a bumper on the car. At least the whole car looks like it's one piece. It, it is pretty ugly. I don't know how bad the rest of the paint is on the rest of the car, but uh, let's go ahead and give it a good wash. Just like that, guys, we have both 135s fully cleaned up. This one needs a new emblem for sure, for sure. That one, oh my God, that one just like, the paint is so good on this one. This one has a little bit of haze to it on the roof. Um, as for this trim, it looks like it has a little bit of haze to it as well. But for the most part, it did clean up really, really, really nicely. Especially, I'm so happy, even though the bumper was damaged, I'm just happy it came with it because at least the car looks somewhat presentable and you can drive it like that. Like nobody's gonna really look at it and pay attention to the details for now. Just until we get a new bumper and maybe even just repaint this one. We'll 
see what we end up doing with that. But guys, check out these wheels. I heard these are the lightest wheels you guys can get for the money. I heard they're very affordable and these are the lightest things you guys can get, especially for the 135. A friend from Burger Tuning told me about that. I, I thought about getting these. I don't know how they look, guys. Let me know down below. Do you guys like these wheels? Let me know. I don't really know how I feel about these. As for these, though, I never thought I actually liked these kind of things, especially the two-piece wheels, but this actually looks amazing. I'm absolutely in love with them. We'll be getting into this in a little bit, but this is the new kit to the family. I mean, I mean, technically, they're both two new kids. This one came in the last video, and this is in this video. Crazy stuff, guys. Life's absolutely crazy, but check out that interior. Oh my God, I love 135 interiors. Let's go ahead and plug in the Carly adapter, because this thing does have a service engine light, and I don't know why. And guys, we finally got to this part in the video where it's sponsored by Carly. So you guys saw in the beginning of the video, huge special shout out to Carly for sponsoring the video. I absolutely love Carly. And they actually sent us out a few adapters to give away to you guys. I'm actually giving away three adapters to you guys and it's absolutely for free. I'm not telling you guys to go buy some merch, even though you guys probably should to support your boy. But if you guys wanna join in for the Carly giveaway, all you gotta do is click the first link down below. It will take you guys to my second channel where I do a bunch of DIY videos, just a bunch of little like informative videos for you guys, for those of you guys who are, who are just getting into BMWs and you guys want to learn a couple of DIYs, those are dedicated DIY videos on my second channel. So click that link down in my description. It's going to take you to a video on my second channel. All you got to do is literally subscribe and then comment down below on that video. I mean, you guys could probably like it too. That'd be great. So like it, subscribe, and then comment in that video. And I'll be pre pretty much choosing the winner from the comments on that video. And that is pretty much it. That's all you got to do to enter, guys. So make sure to go comment, go subscribe, and I'll be announcing the giveaway on these Carly adapters from a week of today. So uh, it will be announced on my second channel as well so subscribe so when I started the car I did notice it had a service engine light so let's go ahead and plug this Carly adapter in and just see what kind of codes we're getting for the service engine light it might be blown turbos it might be a catalytic converter I don't know what it could possibly the idle is perfectly fine it looks like it's fine but I did see some black smoke when I did start it up so either it's it has catless downpipes or I don't know what it could possibly have or possibly blown turbos so let's go ahead and plug in Carly see what it is and even just code in a few features because I think it'd be pretty cool if you just code in a few features to this little bad boy and diagnose the beast n54 and 55 manual manual white interior red interior this looks so sick together let's go ahead and put the car in accessory mode the carly adapter is hooked up now once you've downloaded the carly app all you gotta do is pretty much just connect to your adapter now this is actually connected via bluetooth it used to be wi-fi which i didn't like so much now it is bluetooth which is great now that we have connected i'm gonna go ahead and click on health and just diagnose the car and just see what that service engine light is all about i'm really 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 curious i'm hoping it's nothing too bad because well we just put a new transmission in our 7 series we might be putting a transmission in our M5 right over there. So I really don't want to put in turbos on this. I'm gonna have some seriously bad luck. So we do have a couple for the engine. We have a couple airbags. I don't know why that is exactly. Maybe this just hasn't been cleared. Um, we're gonna go ahead and clear it and actually just go around the corner real quick and see what lights come back. But in terms of engine, it is saying uh, catalyst to trimming control, catalyst swapped, catalyst temperature and then uh yeah this is also catalyst to line fault i'm not really too sure what those are exactly but it doesn't say anything to do with turbo boost or anything like that so hopefully it might be in the clear but um you never know until we actually pull this thing and see you know what kind of codes we get for now though this is not looking too bad i'm not gonna lie let's go ahead and clear the codes real quick all right now that the lights are clear let's go ahead and just code in a few things while we're already on the carly adapter and then we'll take it out for a little spin so uh yes i am definitely satisfied with carly but unfortunately we'll give it some rating in a little bit let's go over to customization continue to coding check possibilities there's so many little neat things that are on this app, guys, that you guys can't really do with anything else this convenient. Carly is the most convenient way to modify your guys' cars, and uh, I mean, I just absolutely love it. So every BMW, if you guys hold the unlock button, it will roll down the windows, but no BMW, if you actually hold the lock button, will it actually roll up the window. So we're gonna go ahead and code that in because I love being able to roll up the windows from the key because if somebody forgets their window open, you know, easily just hold the lock button and that window goes up. I think that's just absolutely awesome. This one's also very important, power windows after ignition is off. I don't know if you guys have ever turned off your car and then try to roll up your windows, but the windows won't roll up because you turn off your car and you have to turn it right back on just to roll up your windows. Well, this gives you some courtesy and you guys can choose how long the courtesy you guys want it to be. So you can roll up your windows even with the key out of the car for as long as a minute or up to 15 minutes, which I think is pretty awesome. I think a minute is good enough for me. If I'm outside the car, I just end up using the key, so it's not a big deal. This one's pretty neat too. Interior lights with remote. So 
pretty much when you unlock the car, you're gonna see the interior lights turn on. I think that's pretty awesome, especially if you have a colored interior like the white or the red. I think it's just a low key flex, so I, <laughs> I like that a lot. And from the cast, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and just code that in and get this stuff coded. Wow, that was actually super quick. Well, we already have that stuff coded. So let's go ahead and actually go over to mirrors. Where is that exactly? Lights and mirrors. I actually wanna code in these mirrors folding in when we lock the doors. I think that's also a really cool feature. Just because when you guys are far away from your car, you try to lock in your car, but obviously the remote doesn't reach your car. If you can see your mirrors folded in, you know it's locked. So that peace of mind is just really nice. All right, guys, check out the new coating. So if you go ahead and hold the unlock button, the windows should roll down. There you go. And if you go ahead and hold the lock button, the windows can finally go up, plus the mirror folds in. So from a distance, as long as you guys can see the mirrors folded in, you guys are good to go. The car is locked. Even if you can't lock the car from this far away, you guys know the car is locked, which is pretty awesome. These wheels are actually starting to grow on me. I'm liking them. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my wife. We're about to head out and get something to eat. I am absolutely starving. It's been an absolute long day. I've been waiting three hours at Copart to get this 135. And uh, it was an absolute mistake, but honestly, I think it's a pretty awesome car. As long as the turbos aren't blown, I think it's also a really good buy just for the money. Like $6,800 for a complete, like it's all one piece with full bolt-on wheels and everything, manual gearbox with white interior. I think it is a pretty good deal for a 135, especially nowadays, clean titles are going for like 17 plus. So I think this is an actual a gem and that's why we actually have two 135 manuals just because they're really 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 hard to come by nowadays and i got lucky and i just got the opportunity and i was like you know what let's go ahead and get them get one get one I, I, the two, we ended up with two by accident I, I really wish honestly they didn't accept my offer because now i'm absolutely broke but for the content for you guys you might as well at least make the best of it and then uh you know we'll figure out my financial situation later if you guys could please support me and just cop some merch down below and then obviously check out my second channel if you guys want to get some free carly adapters huge special shout out to carly for sponsoring this video and free Carly adapter for you guys. Just make sure to subscribe to that channel down below. Subscribe to this channel, obviously, as well. And then comment on that video. First link down below, guys. And just so if you guys are excited to see the N54 and the N55 and the M5, get some uh, some pretty awesome mods. And even the 7 Series, it's coming back pretty soon, too, guys. So don't worry on that. And the i8 is getting some mods. We have a lot of cars. We need to modify all of them. I mean, this addiction is getting out of hand. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.